Okay, so we want to find the quotient. I'm going to use the same technique of multiplying by the LCD of the denominators. So then what is the LCD? Or I guess just the LCD. It's kind of being redundant with saying LCD of the denominators, but the LCD is uh, x plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top times x plus 3 and the bottom times x plus 3. So we're gonna to have to do a little distributing and canceling here. Okay. So when you distribute, I'm gonna say this times this, this times one, this times x, this times this. Okay. So the first one, the x plus three is gonna cancel, you're gonna be left with one plus x plus three. The denominator, you're going to get x squared plus 3x minus 4. Okay, So the numerator becomes x plus 4. That denominator, let's see if we can factor that. x plus x minus 4 and 1. So positive 4, negative 1. That gives us 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 plus a negative 1 is 3. So then this cancels this. Well, let's clean it up. So 1 over x minus 1. Okay, so let's go on to example five. You want to simplify? So they gave us one that we've already done. So we've done an example like this. I'm going to go into the next one. Okay. going to give you this uh, to reference on your own, but I think I've given you enough to where you can handle complex fractions. So there are some other techniques. I'm going to let you discover those. Email me with questions that we can go through them, or just see me before class so we can go through them. Okay. So this is the method that we've been using the whole time. Uh, I'm going to do one, one more example from this section. We want to simplify so we have x plus 3 1 plus 1 under x minus x plus 3 under 4. Okay. Oh, is this the one? Did we do this one already as well? Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
So we're going to leave it as that.